So this is an introduction, or just an overview of how Trent works. And Trent is a basic transcription software um, that uses artificial intelligence to transcribe audio or video files. Um, so it includes kind of a transcription, a processing of your audio and video files to create a rough draft of a transcription. And then um, it also includes a um, editor so that you can edit the rough draft of the transcription. So I'm going to go, the main page looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and log in. with Google. And then you'll see here kind of the main page. Um, so this is the main page and it has, I have used Trent before, so it has um, some information. So you'll see down here, I have a folder. So I used Trent and negotiated the use of Trent um, for some of my transcriptions in 8.12. Um, uh, that was made clear to my professor. Um, I used it in another study that I did on motherhood identities. And then here, these are all pseudonyms um, of other interviews that I did <clears throat> for other projects. So I just want to go through and kind of show you what the process is like. So maybe I am going to go ahead and upload a file. So you click that upload button and I can just drag files here or I can choose files. So um, the drag files is kind of if I have a this open and if I know where my file is. So if I'm going to drop files there. Go see if this will pop up and I can drop here or you can just upload choose files and if you choose files it'll bring up kind of a normal um, file organizer. Um, so I am going to upload a file that I took a video just a, that I took of my kids so that um, I don't want to use any of the interviews that I did under IRB because I, I don't feel comfortable uploading those to YouTube. But And then it asks you to select a language. Um, so, and the video file is of myself and my two children and we speak North American English. So I'm going to do that and I have, I believe, some transcription um, credit. So you'll see that show up here in the, in my list that it's transcribing. Um, and it's a short video so it should transcribe in, Trent says it will transcribe in less time than the video is. So if it's a 45 minute video, it should transcribe in less than 45 minutes. Um, this is the first time I've ever transcribed an audio file, so I don't know about the time difference there. Um, so you'll see now it's ready. Um, so I can click on this munchkin Um, file and then here is um, the transcription that it came up with. Now I will say I think this file is a terrible file for Trent. Um, it's myself and um, my two children and we're sitting in my home and they are trying to explain the rules of a game called Munchkin to me. But you'll see, I'm going to click here. First of all, I have this, um, this is now the editing window and I can come in here and edit this transcription. So this is the first draft. Um, now the draft is better if the audio is very clean, um, if there's 
um, fewer numbers of speakers and things like that. But one thing I can do, for example, is come over here and enter the names of speakers. So let's say I can enter Joanna. Um, and then I'll push play, and I think this is going to capture audio. But I don't understand, when do I become an elf? Well, there's a different, there's cards. See? So you'll see that is a pretty quick interaction between my son was talking, then I was talking, and the transcription is actually pretty care like terrible. I would say it's terrible for this um, uh, video. So uh, it did not capture one of the questions that I ask is, I don't understand when did I become an elf? But if I want to put that in, I can come in. Oh, I'm not. I'm going to come in here and select. I can hit return. Um, I think, let me go back here and see if I can listen and see what my son is saying. I, I, don't understand. I think he starts, I might start this. I think he starts um, like this, if I was an elf. And then, and that's really my son. Let's say son one. <clears throat> and then here's where I start talking. So you'll see now when I, if I go back now, um, I should show all the speakers that I have so far. Okay, so now, when I click here and push pause or push play, when do I become an elf? You'll hear that snippet. When do I become an elf? It's a complex game. So, and then the next speaker is still my first son, and he, I think, is going to speak again. So you'll hear him again. I'm an elf. Well, there's a different, there's cards. And he says, well, there's different, there's cards. And so you might transcribe that differently than I did, but you kind of get the sense. So I'm just kind of typing in here. Um, there are keyboard shortcuts to, for play. Um, you can adjust the playback speed. So if you want to go, I have been using this at about, I think, 0.8 to play it back slower. And then I can do the transcription as it's playing. Um, you, I don't actually know what this highlights means. Different, there's cards. See? There's, there's other door cards, and um, if you draw, it'll say, like, you can class or like. And you can hear my um, second son's audio in the background is not being picked up hardly at all in this transcription. There's a lot that's lost there. So here you set keyboard shortcuts for kind of play, pause, rewind, five seconds, um, strike through, undo, redo. Um, so if you want to use those, kind of a basic um, editing that you get in most transcription software. Um, there's preferences here. Do you want um, Trent to punctuate new sentences that you start, um, new paragraphs? Um, do you want um, to show timing um, and these things? So you can, um, uh, like, do you want the speaker's name and then the timestamp? Um, so you'll kind of uh, see that. It, and so the, so if I went through and I edited this um, entire um, transcript, then I can go here to export the transcript. And I want to export the entire document. And you'll see I can export it as a Word, subrit format, VTT, or interactive transcript. So done. Um, 
but um and I mean you can these are searchable transcripts in here so you can find different things and if I want to go back to home these are where all my files are so once I pay to transcribe it I have access to this editor without any additional cost the only cost that you incur is the original cost to transcribe and that's based on the number of minutes that you transcribe so you'll see here it shows that I have an account balance of about 29 minutes and I can go ahead and buy credit if I want to I have just been doing pay as you go which um, you pay for kind of an hour at a time um, but that's just a basic introduction to kind of the Trent functionality and, and what you might want to use.